Aina mata kuno, yutrik kumul mautu, walau kung tumpi baru jemusayadah. Wherever you may be, death will overtake you, even if you should be within the towers of lofty construction. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about and mentioning about a reality of life that is death. Death is a reality of life. It is a bitter reality of life. It is an unrefutable truth which has to be accepted by all. Every living thing will taste death sooner or later with ease or in distress. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has thrice mentioned in Quran Kullu nafsin zaikatul maut. Surah Al-Imran verse 185 Allah says Kullu nafsin zaikatul mauti wa innama tuwaffawna ajurakum yawm al-qiyamati faman zuhsiha anin nar wa udkhil al-jannah faqad faz wa mal hayatu dunya illa mata'ul ghurur every human is bound to taste death and on the day of resurrection you will be repaid in full for all your deeds he who shall be saved from hell and entered into Jannah will be successful for the life of this world is not but just an illusion. Verse 35 of Surah Al-Anbiya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again says Kullu nafsin zahikatul maut wa nabluwakum bisharri wal khayri fitnatan wa ilayna turji'oon Every human will taste death and we will put you into trial with good and bad situations and you will but return to us. Surah Kabut, verse 57, Allah repeats, Kullu nafsin zahikatul mawdi summa ilayna turja'oon All humans will have to taste death and then you will all be returned to Allah. The life of each one of us, each one of us, our life is just a matter of a single meeting with Malikul Maut, the death angel. As Allah says, Surah An'am, verse 61, Wa is jaa ahadukumul mautu, tawafat rusuluna wa humla yufarritun. That when the death approaches our messenger causes him to die and they do not overlook no one has ever been able to make him go back no one has ever been able to defeat him impress him overpower him seize him or convince him to return he has always been the winner and he's always done what he has been ordered the strongest of wrestlers, the richest of men, the bravest of warriors, the most powerful of all rulers, no one could and no one will be able to stop him. He takes the soul for which, when, where he has been ordered. He takes the soul and no other than the soul he has been ordered to take. He comes, he comes in a home to take away the soul of a 17 year, 17 year old young boy in a house where there is a 97 year old grandpa all paradise head down and has been waiting and longing for death since the last 20 years but he leaves behind the grandpa and he takes the grandson as he was ordered to we've seen we've all seen parents 
howl and cry and beg. But he takes away the child he was ordered to. We've seen the daughters praying and begging. We've seen the sons asking all the medical consultants and the doctors to take whatever they want to, at whatever cost to save their mom or to save their father. But nothing would stop him to perform his task. The best of consultants, the best of medical facilities, the best of ventilators, the best of life-saving life drugs, money being spent away like anything but nothing can or nothing will save the person or the soul from departing so this is the actual reality of life we all need to remember